Hey, what's going on? This week's video is part of my Sway Back When series where I take an older video and re-edit it. Usually when I do it, I re-edit it into a shorted like one minute version, but this time I just did it as basically a full-length video. So I deleted the old file and I'm reposting it as a new file. I apologize if you've seen it before, but you probably haven't because it didn't have a lot of views. So thanks for watching. Be good. I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm going to go out on a limb here and I think this is going to be awesome. What do you think? Ready to power wash? Yeah. All right. My turn. Your turn. One of my favorite things about the Sway Back When series is looking back at some of these old videos and seeing young Vance Maker. And he's always been in my shop. This is almost four and a half years ago, and he was helping me work back before I moved my shop out of my one car garage that you can see it is packed to the gills there. I used to work. Uh, back then when I started the business it was still part-time and I was playing music full-time and I had a four foot by eight foot table made out of uh, Pressure treated plywood and four by fours. It was just out my driveway And I just I would brush the snow off in the winter and I used to put a tent up over in the summer And that was where I worked. So this table was for a customer. I made a couple things for her and um, This is some old reclaimed chestnut from a house in Middletown, Connecticut that was built in the 1800s. Now you can look at that stuff, it's almost two inches thick uh, and you can see all those lines. That's from where the lath was that held the plaster up in the walls. So that wood was just to hold the plaster and the lath up in the walls. It wasn't even like the structure or the frame of the house. Isn't that crazy? Pause for a short tricycle break. And back to the build. So there's all that wood is in these houses that get torn down all the time, which is why it's so important to try to save it because not only does it just make sense, but it's just, it's absolutely beautiful wood and, and this chestnut's basically extinct now. So this is just a basic glue up here. I'm going to uh, put it on top of that green steel base that I just gotten at a junk store for a few bucks and cleaned up. I think it was some piece of farm equipment was on it or something. But one of the great things about having the shop at home was I would just play with Vance while the, while the glue dried and, <laughs> and go back to work. So I set up the simple, you know, router jig to uh, make a circle. Uh, since the wood was so thick, it took a while, but I got through it. And back then, I was still not hip to hand planes. I was using like these power planes and stuff, and kind of made more work power planes and hand sanders. But I just I love that chestnut. It's just my favorite wood to work with, and just beautiful stuff. And every opportunity I get to grab some, I I take. Um, the customer wanted it dark. It's never my favorite thing to do to stain it but and since the wood was a little bit gnarly and and uh, has all these holes and stuff I do this a lot um, where I just coat the entire table with a two-part epoxy and you can see my helper Vance there <laughs> a little mini me is helping me do it and then after I put all that epoxy on I sand it off again so it's just in the holes and then I put like a nicer finish I, or a water-based polyurethane or something over that's not as shiny and glossy and plasticky feeling um, Actually, it looked pretty cool just like that. So then just a couple thin coats of a polyurethane over that, and uh, you have a nice finish. The uh, Oh, yeah, and paste wax, too. Uh, <laughs> and that's the whole video. Really pretty simple. That steel base was already built. This is before I was welding or even had a welder, I believe. Um, and my truck was a lot brighter back then, a little less rust. But uh, thanks for watching uh, this edition of Sway Back When, and I will uh, see you all next week. Thanks, be good, and don't forget to... Play with your kids every once in a while.